everyone, my name is Precious and today's hot topic is wheelchair accessibility. So the other day, I had to go all the way to Manhattan in the, on the last minute and I didn't take my accessory bus like I usually do. I had to take um, tra other sorts of transportation. I had to take the train. <sighs> now, if you ask me, trains are really scary. Like, really. Um, and they definitely aren't wheelchair accessible, not at all. Let me tell you my experience. So, I had to get on the Ford train on 161st because, unfortunately, where I live at, it's not wheelchair accessible. There's no elevators for me to get to. Yes, on the train. So, I had to take the Ford, I had to go to go take the Ford train. So, as I am getting on the elevator to get to the platform of the Ford train, the other way, the to the Ford train, does not work. So I'm like, oh my goodness, how am I going to get to where I need to get to? So I asked the police officers that were there, and they kept told me that I have to take the D train to the 7th. I take the D train. I'm like, okay, you know, great. Um, I'm getting off the D train in Bryant Park, 42nd Street. I realize there's no elevators at all. At all. So I'm like, holy crap, what am I going to do? I start panicking. I'm looking for a map. And I see in the map that I need to take the D train one stop over to take the N train. So I'm like, okay, good. If I take the N train... I'll I get off and look for a bus or something, you know. So I take the end. So I get off the train, take the end train, get off in um with the seven train bus. The seven train is at, and I see that there's cops. So I'm asking the cops, all right, what do I do? You know, how do I get to Grand Central? I need to get to Grand Central. What train can I take? They told me I can take the seven, or I can take the S. So I'm like, they say the S is where it's much better because if I take the S, bang, there's only one stop over. It's the shuttle. So I'm like, all right, as I'm getting on the shuttle, why is there a big gap like this? This big. Oh my goodness. I was scared. I was petrified. Just as I'm about to try and attempt to get on this train. Three great Samaritans help and lift up my wheelchair to put me on the train. You know, thank goodness for them. Thank you so much, guys. So, yes, I'm on my way to the train. I mean, I'm on, I'm on the train on my way to get off the train. Alright, so I get to the Grand Central, do what I have to do, on my way back home. As I am on my way back home, look what I find. wheelchair problems oh sign that states the shuttle is not wheelchair accessible what so why would the cops advise me to take the shuttle so i'm like you know screw that i already gone i was on it already i'm going that way that's it same thing the platform and the train are this much of a gap for me to get on the train incredibly scary on my way back to the end train you know what do I the same thing going back on the end train taking the D and as I get off in 161st to go take the bus to come home you know what I find that the four train is working when that's four train it's only one train that I need to take to get to Grand Central I live in New York City, where it's the most accessible state ever. You understand? But we need a lot of improvement, and it, it just sucks that it's unfortunate that here in the Bronx, where I live at, there's only a few, I mean a handful, of wheelchair-accessible platforms for us to get on, you know? And... Thank goodness I was going to Manhattan when this was happening. 
if you have any questions about this video or had a similar situation that occurred to you, please comment below or email me at precious1369p at gmail.com. I am next time, guys. Bye.